let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go Don't make me wait There's no need to hesitate Let's make footprints in sand Let's make miracles come hold my hand Let's find something new Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let you go mm, Sometimes I just don't know what to do Cause it should have been you I do another really cozy day in the life of homemaking just relaxing at home as on cue Murphy is about to jump up on the bed here he is <laughs> I feel like the start of my vlogs are always the same just me trying to start it and Murphy trying to get in isn't it yeah I can't work out if it's because he hears the camera click or he hears me talking he doesn't know who I'm talking to and he wants to be involved in the action <laughs> but I thought I would start today's vlog with um, my makeup routine that I've been doing recently so excuse you that was a big yawn <laughs> so I've shared my makeup routine a couple of times on this channel but it does change every now and then sometimes if I see a new trick or something new I find that works for me or different seasons as well sometimes I like to change it up so at the moment I'm using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream which I'm loving. I then go in with concealer, bronzer, blusher. I have been putting a little bit of um, contour under my chin as well. 
that for me is a huge insecurity I don't know why but I I don't know I just sometimes feel really insecure about my chin like as if it holds weight and that it not like day to day when I look in the mirror I'm fine about it it's sometimes if I just get caught on a bad picture angle I'm sure a lot of people can relate because I've seen like a couple of things on TikTok where people are practicing that thing called mewing where basically like you suck your tongue to the top of your reef and it kind of like makes your chin look really chiseled <laughs> so I think it must be an insecurity for a lot of people but for me it's just been for the past couple of years it's been a huge insecurity and actually it was one of the main reasons I lost weight for my wedding as well because I was quite confident in my body being a little bit more curvy but it's my face that I'm not comfortable with. Anyway, that was a complete like digression. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of contour under my chin, which I'm finding is helping a lot with that side of my confidence. Then I just carve my eyebrows out with, I think it's Makeup HD um, brow, just the pencil, just like a tiny few strokes just where I'm missing a couple of eyebrow hairs. <laughs> and then this is what's really changed. So for my eyes, before I was either doing like a winged liner or just mascara. So I've been doing black eyeliner in my top waterline, then a little bit on like the top of my eye and then like smudging it out to give me that sort of like smoked, like don't know if you can see like that sort of smoked black effect and I find it makes my eyes look a lot bigger and it helps my mascara look better as well and then for my bottom I've been putting white eyeliner in my bottom waterline and then just a tiny bit of blue eyeliner underneath and I think that just makes my eyes pop loads more then I curl my lashes and then mascara and then a little bit of lipstick and Bob is your uncle <laughs> and you know what my makeup over the years I used to spend well sometimes I still do spend like upwards of an hour if I'm really getting ready for something special and I just fancy playing about with makeup I really do enjoy doing it so sometimes I do purposely make it last longer but for the everyday now I've got it down to about 15 minutes and it's just amazing because I personally feel more productive with makeup on I don't know what it is but I can get fully dressed and ready for the day do my hair clean my teeth do my skincare all that and then I just don't feel quite as productive as when I put makeup on so I like that I found a quick routine and that works for me so anyway I am going to get on with this vlog now I've got a little bit of cleaning in the house to do so I thought I'd bring you along with that and I also in a couple of vlogs ago I got sent some um, stuff from the app cherries and they have sent me some more stuff which I got to pick and um, but I thought I'd share that with you as well and then I also have a discount so yeah I hope you really enjoy this vlog and I'm just going to take you through my day so I just wanted to quickly show you this cardigan that I got given um, at Christmas time it's really like thick thick and long and I love it over dresses on like stay at home days just because it's so cozy and warm and for me sometimes getting like dressed and out of my pyjamas the hardest thing is this time of year when it's cold so it's so nice to have this to throw on then these leggings they are like I'll show you they're like thick and then they're fleeced like they've got like lining um like fleece lined on the inside so I can just throw any dress on like loose fitting dress and then these leggings and this cardigan and I feel as toasty warm as I would be in my pajamas and dressing gown <laughs> I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain if I never try to get it, I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Baby, like the stars I've been a Miles away, but you've been in my 
So I just wanted to show you some little updates to my kitchen, which I absolutely love. I feel like my kitchen is looking even more homely and cottagey than ever. So I just wanted to take you through some of my newer things. So first of all, you might notice the top of my cabinet I have decorated with a couple of teapots. I've got my picnic basket and some champagne glasses and then I've just put fairy lights around them. I've also got the fairy lights as well on this side with some ivy and a little home sign. So I love that. Please Please excuse that little corner <laughs> I need to sort that out that's where we keep electronics um but I just thought I'd go through and show you a few little things so first of all I got this teapot so my mother-in-law got me this for Christmas and I absolutely love it how cute is that so I'm really really happy with that please excuse the dishwasher beeping at me um I don't think anything else is new on here but I have just moved things about oh I'm wrong so this little um what's it called T cake stand <laughs> I got this from my friend who was moving home and she wanted it to go to a good home because it was her grandma so I will look after that forever because I absolutely love it and then spanning around I also from the same friend I just spoke about then I got this little egg basket as well um not basket sorry it's egg house <laughs> I've also got an egg basket as well because I just love the look of it so I have one set of eggs on this half of the kitchen and another set of eggs on the other half next in this little section here I have all my recipe books but Paul got me this um like recipe file thing for Christmas and it's amazing because you can put all like your own recipes in so it came with bear with me a minute it came with this um these sheets so I can fill in my own recipes there and put them in here but I can also put like Hello fresh stuff in there as well so it's really good and then we've got all these different tabs and I love it I feel like this is going to be in the family for some time and then along with that I got this recipe stand so I'll just move Gino's book so that is the recipe stand I got and I love that and then we can just display a recipe book or once I'm cooking I can take whatever recipe out of here and then just put it onto there and it's good because it's got these little black things that you can like move up oh no sorry it moves from that side and then it will just hold the recipe in place there so that's new on that side. I've already shown you my dishwasher and my new um, Nutri Ninja foodie that I got for Christmas, both these two um, in my last vlog. Um, so I've got that. Um, and then I think that's it, to be honest. So I'm just really happy. Dishwasher is beeping at me a lot, saying, please start me, woman. I've put it on pause while I speak. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's all I've got. So I'm going to start my dishwasher. But I just wanted to show you all my new additions. You like them too, don't you, Murph? Yeah. <laughs> he jumped down as soon as I went to stroke you. What are you do? Oh, he wants to be picked up. Look, he does this thing where he stands on my feet and wants me to pick him up. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now I thought I would do my cherries unboxing. So I have my big box of... Oh, Murph, what are you doing? Oh, he's getting scared. He wants to jump on me. Come here, then. You little Wally. So I've got my big box of things from Cherries here, so I just thought I would unbox it with you. I also have a discount code as well, which I will leave in the description bar and I will put it popping up somewhere around here as well so you can use it. I think it's for 20% off, but you can only use it for first time orders. But I thought I would give you that code in case you also want to buy something from Cherries. So it's an app and it's similar to um, the likes of Home Bargains, B&M, um, things like that. So it's just your everyday essentials. They've also got really nice homeware, um, just all different stuff. And I really like that it's just like a delivery to your door because 
sometimes I'm just not in the mood to go to B&M and I know that's controversial because it is the mothership but it is nice just to have those essentials on an app that you can order and get delivered to your home especially if you don't have a car and you have to walk to the shops and things with heavy bags so it's just a really convenient option so I thought I would unbox this now with you I feel like I've just flopped in energy I woke up with loads of energy this morning and then got ready for the day did a few things did a bit of cleaning I had a chat with my friend and now I just feel a bit does anyone else do that I feel like my energy levels are just abysmal especially in January anyway I'm going to open this box and see what's in there oh this looks very exciting okay so the first thing I got is some Astonish all-in-one um, dishwasher tablet. So I've been using the flash ones, I think, but I thought I would try Astonish. This is in the scent Lemon Fresh, so I got some of them. The next thing I got was some permanent markers. So you might have seen on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago, just before Christmas actually, I got a load of crafts things from my dad. So I got loads of like paper, watercolours. <coughs> Oh, good grief. I think next door are doing some drilling. Um, but I got loads of craft stuff, so I thought I'd get these permanent markers um, just because there is a type of like watercolour painting where you can basically draw what you want and then use the watercolours over it. So I'm going to try that. The next thing I got was these two Alpen light bars. So I got one in Jaffa Cake and one in Cherry Bakewell. Just to have something in, sometimes I'm on the run in the morning. On the run? <laughs> I'm not running from the police. <laughs> I'm on the move <laughs> in the morning, so I thought it'd be nice to have a quick snack that I can grab. The next thing I got is some Space Raiders. If you've not tried Space Raiders and you have them available to you, then please do try them. My favourite is the beef flavour. I'm really excited about them. I'm probably going to have a packet as soon as I finish filming this clip. The next thing I got is these naked noodle pots. So I've loved these for a while. So I got three. I think it must have been like three for a certain amount of money. Um, so I got three of them. Again, I love them for days where I'm out the house working and I need something easy for lunch. They're actually not too bad health-wise as well. The next thing I got, sorry, this is really random. We're going to like cleaning and then back and jumping around, but it's exciting. So I got these Lenore tumble dryer sheets in the scent Sparkling Bloom and Yellow Poppy. So these just go in with your tumble dryer stuff and they make it smell amazing and it also reduces the time it takes to dry them. I have no idea how that works maybe it doesn't work like that I'm questioning myself now it actually doesn't say that on the packet it says extra softness reduces static reduces creases it doesn't say anything about reducing <laughs> time to dry so I think I probably just made that up in my head the next thing I got is these little slipper socks. I I love slipper socks. They're like my favourite things in the whole entire world. Um, and I've just been wearing my other ones too much and they're just getting a little bit discoloured and not as soft anymore. So I thought I'd get some more of them. The next thing I got is this really cute makeup headband. So it's one of them that's got like a bow on and I've actually not got one of these. So I just thought I would get that. I'm really sorry if there's a bit of noise from next door. Sounds like they're doing a bit of drilling bit of DIY. <laughs> the next thing I got is this Lenore Outdoorable. So I think I've shown this on one of my vlogs a couple of months ago, maybe Are you coming up again. There you go. Um, but I was apprehensive. Murphy is not impressed that all this stuff is on the bed. <laughs> I was apprehensive about the cost because it's like a smaller bottle than usual um, softeners are and it's quite expensive so I was thinking is it going to be worth the money but let me tell you it lasted so long and the clothes smelled so much better even Paul noticed so I got another one of them the next thing I got is some body wash I found this love hearts body wash and I just thought I'd give it a try just because it looked fun <laughs> So I thought I would pick that up. The next thing I got is my favourite sweets and that is the drumstick squashies. They're so nice. Highly recommend. I then got some Freddos. If you're from the UK you will know all about Freddos. I feel like we measure our inflation and our 
economic status by the cost of Freddo. <laughs> so back when I was younger, the cheapest I remember them being is 10p per Freddo. And I think they are considerably up from that. But anyway, I got a pack of Freddos. <laughs> the next thing I got is this drain away. So our kitchen drain is just steaming a little bit blocked, like the water's going down a little bit slower. So I thought I'd give that a try. Um, I think they did have Mr. Muscle as well, but I just thought I'd try a different black brand <laughs> the next thing i got is this dishwasher cleaner so as you will have seen i have a new dishwasher so i want to keep it nice and clean otherwise my dishes are going to come out looking horrific <laughs> so i've just got that i think you just put it in with no dishes and it will just like clean itself so i've got that next thing i got was some baking soda so i do a lot of cleaning with baking soda anyway but i have mentioned in a recent vlog that this year i am looking to try and just reduce the amount of cleaning products i have and also look at more natural non-toxic ones that being said i'm not going to go like all out of like never using anything that's like not all natural i don't think I don't know I'd, I'm such like a middle ground person I know that sounds stupid but I'm such like a sit on the fence person like I don't like to like fully jump in and be like team all natural or team like all the products in the world I'm just more like middle ground about everything like literally everything politics as well anyway how did I get from baking soda to politics <laughs> so anyway I just picked up some more baking soda for my cleaning that's all I really needed to say isn't it and then fine well not finally but finally the little stuff I got this oven bright it's like a magic eraser so I've used oven bright before where it's like the liquid and then you leave it and then it sort of destroys all dirt and bacteria but I thought this would be nice just to more keep on top of it so with my oven I don't want it to get to like dire straits before I then tackle cleaning it so I thought this would be a really nice option instead okay so the next thing I'm really excited about this next thing I got wow these are so nice so I got these two pillows so this, this was two for ten pound I think this would be so much more expensive in the likes of like home sense and then it's like velvety and they've got like little dots on this side oh, I'm so happy with them I think I might put them on my sofa oh I'm really happy with them they're so soft I wasn't expecting them to be the best quality for the price but they really are so I'm really happy with them I think yeah did I say two for ten pound and then finally I got some more um towels so I just got some more pink towels so that is everything I got from Cherries this time so I will leave the discount code as discussed in the <laughs> in the comment section below and also I'll have it pop up again so you can use it for first time orders you good boy so anyway I'm gonna go and get some lunch now because I'm feeling very hungry and I'm gonna have actual lunch and not just space raiders <laughs> okay so I thought I'd just show you my new <laughs> I've just kind of thrown a load of pillows on the sofa I'm not sure I think they need a bit of work maybe that little middle one actually doesn't look right maybe if I move that that goes down a bit that looks better um so yeah i've just got all these pillows now in here i did just have it plain hello you <laughs> it's never too far away oh yeah you? you're never too far away distracting me with your cuteness so yeah i did just have this plain but actually well, i spoke in my last vlog about how uncomfortable my sofa is but it's actually a, lo a lot better when you have a pillow behind you so this one i've had for ages that used to be on the bed um so we'll ignore that one this and this one these two are my new ones from cherries so i've got them there then this middle one this was actually from home sense and it's feather filled and it's so comfortable and then this last one this is like a um what do you call that sort of like sheepskin cord cord is it oh i don't know um that sort of like material and it's light pink and again that was from home sense so that's all my new pillows now oh nearly tripping over on my coffee table but yeah that's my new pillow selection i like it i think i think i'm going to move it around a couple more times before i get the right sort of balance and maybe i might buy another one instead of this like another square one so then it's all just squares like in a line actually do you know what that looks better like that let me i'll put that there that there bear with me <laughs> that can go there and then the two little ones on the side let's see 
Oh yeah, I think that looks a lot better actually. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe actually, one more. I've got this little heart one. I've had that for ages. Maybe that can go there to sort of tie it into the corner. Now let's go back again. Does anyone else do this for ages in their home? Like just move stuff around and then look at it. It's one of my favourite things to do. Hello everyone, so it's now a couple of days later from when I filmed that last footage. I kind of flopped for the rest of the day, I think I mentioned in the video actually that I was feeling quite fatigued. So after I filmed my cherries haul, I just chilled around the house. But today I am going to actually make another Christmas cake, I know it sounds bonkers but basically our Christmas cake is finished and certain family members didn't get enough. <laughs> And I should take it as a compliment that everyone really loved it this year. So I said, why not make another one? Life is too short. If everyone enjoys it and I've got the ingredients, like I bought too much fruit and things. So I'm going to make another fruit cake. We're obviously not going to decorate it the same as a Christmas cake, but it's the same recipe and everything. We'll put the same ice in, just maybe not Christmas figurines all over the top. So I thought I could bring you along for making it again. I was going to show you how the Christmas cake actually turned out but I was poorly right before Christmas so my mother-in-law actually had to decorate the cake for me but we do it the same every single year. We use um, royal icing, we sort of um, do it messy to look like snow and create peaks and things and then we just stick a load of Christmas fig figurines and glitter and all sorts so we do it the same every year but yeah I'm going to... <laughs> make a Christmas cake so it's almost feeling like a festive vlog now even though it's January but what's the harm <laughs> if everyone enjoys it it's not like if I was keeping my decorations up this late it would probably be questionable actually do you know what I do know um someone that's still got their Christmas decorations up I find that bonkers but anyway I'm going to make the cake now so I'm going to bring you guys along with my baking afternoon so I've just put the recipe on my recipe stand. I didn't bother moving Gino's book. I've just put it there. I kind of know the directions. It's more just, I look at the ingredients just to remind myself. So I'm gonna throw it all together now and then put it in the oven.
Okay, so this is the finished mix. My hands and my wrists are absolutely killing me. I can't tell you how much of a workout it is mixing the dried fruit in. So I put a whole kilogram, so one of these um, mixed fruit bags, I put a whole one of them in, and the Morello cherries. So there's, it's absolutely packed full of fruit. That's how my family likes it. But, oh, it's just such a workout. My wrists, like, actually they don't red, but they don't look red, but they feel like they're excruciating on my head fingers look how red my hands are <laughs> just trying to mix it in so i need to just transfer this now into the tin it will then go into bake um let me have a look on there oh no that's wrong i remember that it says three and a half to four hours on 150 but i think it's more like two two and a half to be honest so oh, i'm fully out of breath <laughs> so i'm going to move this into the tin put it in the oven and then let's see how it turns out fingers crossed it's as good as my last one the pressure is really on because everyone really enjoyed the last one and in such close succession i'm really scared people aren't gonna like it <laughs>
Okay, so I've now got the dishwasher going and the washing machine. I had a huge cleaning day yesterday. I didn't film it. I just kind of went, literally I was cleaning for about four, four and a half hours. It was amazing. <laughs> really enjoyed it. Um, but I just didn't fancy filming it yesterday just because sometimes setting up the camera and like moving it, I know it sounds like a minuscule job, but it can just take almost more motivation to get going with the cleaning. So I think... I'm still gonna, of course, do my cleaning videos are the best thing in Thai world. I love doing them. <laughs> but at the same time, some days I just want cleaning days to myself of looking scruffy and just running around the house like a mad lady. Anyway, how did I even get onto that? Oh yeah, so I had a clean day yesterday, so I've put all of the cloths from yesterday in the washing machine, along with the rug in the kitchen. I thought I'd give that a bit of a wash. The Christmas cake is going, but I thought for the rest of today I am going to edit this video. So what I'll do, I'll put a little clip of the um, Christmas cake, how it turned out at Christmas time, because it's the exact same recipe, I've followed everything the same. So everything going well, touch wood, it will turn out the exact same again. Um, but I just thought I'd end this video here to give me the rest of the afternoon so that I can edit this video and get it up hopefully in a reasonable time. So I really hope you have enjoyed this homemaking vlog. I've really enjoyed filming my last two videos just because I filmed when I wanted to film, when I've been inspired to film and I think it's just, I don't know, I've just really enjoyed sharing my days with you. So I hope you have enjoyed them as much as I've enjoyed filming them. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos i can't believe i'm so close to 5,000 subscribers that is actually like it's actually kind of scary when i think about it but it's still cool <laughs> so yeah i will see you in my next video and murphy says bye too bye everyone love you <laughs>